Hey guys, what is up? Mai here, and today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Project Zomboid. So, last time we left off, we did end up leveling up, and I'm just going to chuck that one straight into hauling, just to help us out with, you know, all the heavy amounts that we have to be carrying around constantly. Alright, so let's jump straight into it. Oh, we woke up really early, I've got to remember to keep an eye on that sort of stuff, because lately I seem to be forgetting about it a lot. So, not to worry, I mean, I guess it'll just give us a few hours of extra day before we need to go out and do our things. Let's eat some food, actually, we're gonna go through these apples and try to get rid of them, because I'm scared they're gonna go rotten soon, I have had some of these for a few days. But, you know, the ones further down the list should be fresher, so we should be fine as far as those ones go. Now, once again, I have not been able to upload at my daily consistent pace like I want to, and... That is because quite possibly one of the worst things that could have possibly happened has happened. And because I went away for a few months, or uh, well for a few weeks, for about a month, um, I came back home, my mum had forgot to pay the phone bill. Now, I pay the internet bill myself, and um, you know, she just has to pay the phone bill. And yeah, so it's, you know, the phone bill hadn't been paid, but the internet was still working, so I'm kind of just like, oh, you know, if the internet's still working, you know, don't stress too much about paying it straight up. You know, just wait or whatever. Now, that was possibly the worst advice I'd ever given in my life because uh, we waited two extra days. They didn't even give us a warning. They just completely cut the phone off, which, you know, I guess makes sense having not paid the bill. And um, that reset the codes at my internet company. So it was meant to take two to three days to get the phone back up because we just paid the bill the same day since it broke. And it's on day three and the phone still isn't working. So I'm getting a little bit annoyed about that. And on top of that, um, it's going to take uh, 7 to 10 days apparently to get the internet running at my house, um, 3 to 5 days at the minimum. Someone said 3 to 5 and another person told me 7 to 10. So, you know, I just finished my exams by the way. Um, you know, I'm, I'm literally studying my holidays as we speak. You know, this is my first day of my holiday. And I don't have internet at all. And if I want to upload videos, I have to, you know, go over to my grandparents' house or something like that, borrow their internet, go over to a friend's house, borrow their internet. And it is just a huge pain in the ass. But, you know, I'm, I'm still going to be able to get the daily videos out because I can just record a whole heap at once and then upload them. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just such a pain and it, it really destroys my holidays a little bit because what the hell can you do in life if you don't have the internet? Uh, is, you know, it's basically what I've come to realise. So it does suck a little bit. And I remember what we're doing now, we have to go finish off the sky bridge. Um, just so we can get over the other side. But this bin does not seem to turn anymore. We're going from the other direction, there we go. So yeah, my holiday is three weeks long, and at the absolute, uh, absolute latest, it probably won't be fixed until two weeks from now on the Friday. That's at the latest. So, you know, we're, we're really hoping that it's earlier. But, yeah, at the latest, I have to go the first two-thirds of my holiday with that internet. Which is just depressing. So, you know, I figured maybe, you know, I'm going to have to start going outside more and doing normal people stuff. You know, going out with friends and things like that. And I mean, <laughs> I don't want to. I want to sit at home and do nothing on the internet for three weeks. But, here we are. Here we are. Okay, and I do actually have some more info on the uh, patch art thing. Um, Captain Vicky posted in the updates thread once again. He said that the beta tests that did have the copy of the game have actually gone through. They have found the errors. Um, they've fixed the errors, and now they've you know they've resent out another beta version for people to test. Now, you know they've, they've they've had lots of these sort of little updates like that, and it's it's always ended up taking ages. So you know I'm not I'm not getting excited for it being done. With next week, um, you know, it might be, but who knows at this rate, but yeah, you know, we're, we're one step closer basically, which is, you know, enough to, enough to make me happy, but the problem is actually going to be, you know, downloading the game and getting it to my house once it is up, because I don't have internet, I actually have to use a wireless USB internet dongle, and the speeds on it are fine, but it cost me thirty dollars for seven hundred megabytes thirty dollars for less than a gig of bandwidth 
that is extremely steep and you know yes I know I'm getting ripped off massively but I figured this is cheaper than actually having to buy another dongle because this one's a Telstra and everybody in Australia knows Telstra dickheads so yeah here we are so I'm thankful that I at least have some internet it does allow me to play some online games but you know it's not going to last me the full duration and it costs thirty dollars for seven hundred meg so you know that that sucks quite a bit and we'll just we'll keep pushing this one up I think the worst thing about it is I got Diablo 3 on on Thursday I got Diablo 3 on Thursday that's the first day that the internet went out I just got home me and my girlfriend both of our copies of Diablo 3 brand new really excited just got home put the disc in it's like you know I cannot detect an internet connection that's you know when I realized something was up and you know that was that so we ended up getting the dongle just so we could play just so we could play Diablo and I think in the last 24 hours alone um, including going to university studying going to university doing an exam and sleeping in the last 24 hours I have spent 13 of that playing Diablo so you know it's it's been a pretty lazy last couple of days but you'd be surprised how much time you have for video games and study when you don't have Facebook and all those other things there to distract you Okay, so we've got our 25 planks of wood, and we should have everything we need. Yeah, and we've got everything we need in our inventory to craft, to craft them into walls when we get a river, so there's not survivor out there. I would go out there and try helping him, but at the moment, you know. If we get caught off position with this much weight, we're in a bit of trouble. So how are we going? Definitely feels like it's helping that, you know, a little bit of extra weight capacity from the upgrade and hauling. And... Perfect. We now have our home. I'm actually just building that one around here, so, you know, if I'm ever running towards the edge or something like that, you know, I don't actually fall off. And I just heard him say something, but I didn't quite read it. It sounded like he was swearing at me. Can I just get down these... Okay, there we go. That was a weird bug. It looked like I was walking onto the platforms, not underneath the stairs. So who's that guy? Ah, oh, shit, he's bleeding. You know what we do with bleeders? We take them out. Because if he's bleeding now, he's going to be another zombie for us to deal with later. Oh, okay, anyway. Um, enough looking at the loot. Let's eat our apple. Feels like I've gone through a lot more food today than usual. I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, so we really only got seven pieces. That's gonna make this one, one wall. So that's not even worth it. So I know we do have that other place barricaded off. We're gonna have to barricade this place off too. And where else can we barricade? Yeah, okay, so we still got quite, quite a bit left to do. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to get that done by tomorrow. Actually, what I can do is as much as I don't want to do this this is going to be probably my new area for you know gathering wood and things like that it's going to be safer so it might be an idea to actually no you know what scratch that I was I was going to go over and push my willy bit all the way over there but then I decided you know if I ever need to come out here because there are a lot more trees out here to cut down uh, you know, I'm going to have to drag it all the way back, and that's going to be pretty difficult once it's completely walled off. Holy crap. He just... He just zombified right in front of us, that's so cool. So that guy actually has a few wooden planks. Which I will take straight off him. He doesn't need those anymore. That was, that was scary though. 
can't be good for morale seeing other people turn. No, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll probably go around and either get another bin straight away for that one, or just drag this one over and get another bin for down here at a later date. But, you know, that's, it's not really too urgent. Or anything. So it's at 6 o'clock now. Let's head home. And eat our food. Oh no, we've slightly fed okay. So what do we have? I actually thought those apples were going to last us a little bit longer than they did. I think that got us through maybe two, three days. But, you know, we got plenty of plenty of junk food to keep this going. I guess we can just speed time up a little. Well, we slept for 12 hours. We will be feeling very rested. So let's get outside. Let's get straight to cutting things down. You know, within within the day, I reckon, we should be able to get enough planks to actually go around and completely wall that thing off. So we'll just try to get through that as quickly as possible. Oh shit. Another example is a line of sight out here being a little bit dodgy that zombie just randomly went invisible. That was a little scary. Or maybe that grass is just longer than uh, what it's displayed in the spray. Let's just get through this. almost enough just to get everything sealed off in that place into you know a somewhat safe area I mean I'm still concerned the zombies are going to randomly spawn inside of it but you know I'm not going to be concerned about hordes breaking in unless in patch R when I finally upgrade they decide to make walls breakable in that case we might be in a little bit of trouble but you know I don't think it would be too serious if walls were breaking I mean as long as as long as there was a way to upgrade them or, you know, just if, if as long as they had lots of health or something like that. Uh, I don't think it'd be too much of an issue because, you know, you'd have time to go through and set up like multi-layered wall systems and things like that. Which actually, it reminds me of a comment I was reading the other day. And, you know, somebody was talking about, you know, just being able to upgrade. You know, build more buildings, not upgrade, upgrade the things that you have built. So what I mean by that is like um, when you put a door or something, say if you use double the amount of nails, you get more 
you know, it'll be hinged on a little bit better. So, you know, maybe doors and random properties to be, you know, to come on in the store just to shadow the part that you know, you know, the more nails, the more hinges you can. That's what's going to be fun, because I, I love nothing more than when games have these huge upgrade trees. Um, kind of like uh, the tower defense games you play, you know how you start off with like one or two turrets and then by the end of it you've got like 20 that can be upgraded like 50 times. Yeah, I love those games, I spend more time on them than anything I think. So yeah, upgrades, upgrades are worth time, so that's what I'm really hoping for. But I guess we're getting a little bit too ahead of ourselves there. Unfortunately, I'm not able to stack this broken wooden plank on with the rest of them, so we're not going to be able to use that one, but it doesn't matter, we don't need that extra one anyway, because we're only going to be using 48. Okay, so let's switch over, there we go, 12, awesome, so that other stuff, not really a necessity. And now let's just slowly make our way back over. It's almost 7, so, you know, I'm going to be careful going across. Because, holy crap, it looks like the zombies are back once again. Yep. That definitely looks like the corner of a migrating horde. At least, you know, that's what it's looked like in our experience. So I'm, I'm really glad I actually jumped onto this project when I did because, you know, if not, I don't think we would have had time to get this place barricaded off. I don't want to rush because, you know, I'm kind of a little bit on edge. I want to make sure I do it properly the first time, otherwise it's going to look bad and it's going to keep me coming back. Okay, so we've got one more barricaded off. And there's another one up here. Which we are not going to have enough barricades for. So just barricade the middle there. still going to be those two side doors there, but, you know, I'm hoping they'll confuse some zombies, and, you know, the smarter zombies will be able to get through. Okay, yes, there's a few zombies there. Actually, there's a whole heap of zombies there. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, I did not even think of that. I've just made an entry 
into my house that the zombies can use. Thought that did not even cross my mind. I can say, like, it's, it's gonna take a pretty smart zombie to navigate this way up the stairs, so I think it will make me safe. For the time being, but I am definitely gonna be coming back there and actually sitting on some sort of room, even if I just want to build a room to the side of that room, so it's not sad there. Oh, okay, what was that? It is time for us to go ahead and drink up for a snack. We do. Uh, thanks for watching guys, if you like the video be sure to leave a thumbs up and favorite and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Um, I'm not going to be able to read and reply to as many comments, so you know, I apologize for that. It really just is my bandwidth. But you know, I'll be doing my best to get these videos up day by day.